Thank you, thank you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Touch Tennis Show. And we have the awards as well tonight. It is a first. We've got everyone here who's competing in the Battle at Masters, and of course, someone who didn't make it to the top eight this year. You. <laughs> oh, I man, did. Sorry. <laughs> I actually did make it to the top eight this year, but I gave my place up to somebody. Why? Well, because I thought maybe, you know, I'd be, I'd be sorting out the show and stuff and doing the awards, and, you know, maybe I couldn't give it my full focus. And, and I gave it to a guy who we thought was deserving uh, of that spot. Uh, uh, I'm just going to ask the crowd, does anyone know who we gave that spot to? Was it Elliot or was it... No. No. Was it, was it a bunny? Did he just get cuffed by everybody? Mr. Oldfield, uh, you're there in the corner there. Can you put your hand up so everyone can see? Thanks, Oldfield. Let's give him a round of applause for the <laughs> Thanks for making me look great. Great decision on my part. Should have given my mum the last spot. But uh, <laughs> instead we work with Oldfield. But listen, really well done to everyone so far. Now we're at the semi-final stage. We've got a um, great lineup for you. We're going to be showing you that just after this show. But just before we go into that, we've got the most prestigious awards of the calendar of any sport. It's the Touch Tennis Awards. Right as we go into this, we want to show you the top 10 rallies that really are, for me, the very best of our sport this year.
couple of them actually, not always on the winning end of them. That one there, Sean Thornley for me. Yeah, more luck and skill. But yeah, yeah. I, you know, whatever it takes to win a point. No, no, that was really good. I've got good. a job as well, luck. Yeah, I think, you know, Elliot made him look good, so well done yeah. for Elliot there. He's had that quite a few times, hasn't he, Elliot? <laughs> Um, Punching your way over there in the corner. <laughs> but now the first award, anyway, we're going to move on to. Um, this is for somebody who's given the most to the sport this year, uh, and it's called MVP, Most Valuable Primate. It should be person, but in the case of the person that won this, you'll understand why we're going to go with primate. And to present the award is former world number one, Mr. Matthew Gollidge. <laughs> the MVP of the year goes to Gary Lowe.
there, and there's only one person that can present this award, Mr. Matthew Gollidge. Best player of the year. Pains me to give it to this guy because he's got me in a rather large cage right now. It's pretty small, actually. Um, <laughs> you just can't find your way out. Mr. Simon Roberts. several tournaments this year that really stood out for me. Uh, Bromley, for all of its, its fun, you know, you saw in the highlights it was amazing, so much fun there with the cage there. You know, we had Brunel, one of the best events that a lot of people have been to. I unfortunately didn't make it. I will say it was a great event. Uh, James Ireland, who ran for that event. He's done a great lot for us in the university scene. He's put on one award, one, well, not an award winning, but one great event in February, and it's grown again. And it's worked Christmas last year, February, then this year, 30 And he's got a culture of tough tennis there. Um, not short tennis, it's actually tough tennis. Right. So I'll make that clear for anyone who's thinking about launching short tennis, I don't know who that might be. But um, <laughs> in the meanwhile, we'll focus on the important things. And to present that award for us, we've got none other than Mr. Adam Hassan. How did we suddenly go from a live stream to having pizzas in our hands? Because it just turned up the riders brought them along. Surprise, surprise, Marcus Willis has got one on his lap, and Simon Roberts has got an entire one on his lap. And these aren't just large, they're XXL. So go figure. This award is for the best tournament of the year, as I said. You know, Ireland's tournament at Brunel was up there. We had the Bromley event that I thought was particularly special. And we had the Belgium Open, which for me was just probably the best weekend of my life this year. Um, here to present the award, Mr. Adam Hassan. Yeah. So, the winner of the best tournament 2013, and in my opinion, deserved, is the Belgium Open. All right. You do it in Dutch or Flemish. What is the language you speak anyway? Do you know what language you speak? Yeah, I've got it in English for you. Thank you, everybody. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I hope to welcome you all next year. Yeah. We'll all be there. Thank you very much. Um, mm. We now have two more awards to bring you. And then we'll be done. Now, move on to the most improved player award. For, for us, it's not just about ranking surges, because otherwise it'd be Roberts every time he's gone from whatever, you know, 94 to number one in the space of one year. It's how they've improved and how terrible they were to start with and how they've changed. Now, Luke was obviously one of those suggestions we thought about, maybe Luke made. Yeah. Um, but um, we had a few nominations out there. Um, it was interesting, a lot of people voted. Um, and when we had the Facebook page up there, we had about 500 Belgian votes, which I decided were worthless. <laughs> They're not English. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but to present the award for the most improved player of 2013, Mr. Arnold de Bruce. Uh, the award of the most improved player goes to Jasper Schrijf. Do anyone know what that name means? <laughs> Spray that again. Who? Jasper Schrijf. There we go. Oh, okay, right. Well, Mr. Schrijf, well done. Anything you can say about him? I want to take that back to Belgium for us. Yeah, I will do. And uh, get drunk with some Jupiter or whatever it is called with him. Oh, okay. Erdinger. <laughs> hey, can you do me a huge favour? If you go back to that bar, Around the corner from where you are. <laughs> Go there, take a picture of that girl that Matt Gollins is chatting with. <laughs> and bring it back for all of us. We really want to share that on Facebook with the world, actually. The kind of, you know, life that is touring pros and in particular Matt Gollins live. <laughs> Best player, uh, Jasper Scrobus. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And great pizza. Oh, Tapa John, oh, hope oh, you can sponsor us next year. Seriously, good pizza. Papa John's, if you're ever thinking about sponsoring us. You know, we'll say it again, it's really good pizza. Um, we had this last year with Simon Reid on the show. I think you were meant to say it's really good pizza after they sponsored you. 
now there's not really much point in the responding to this because you said it's just people. Ah, okay, this is disgusting people. It's the worst piece I've ever seen in my life. It could have been so much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, so this award, this is the final award of the season, and this is my favourite award. Because whatever anyone else may say, this for me is my job on people. It may come a point when I'm not playing anymore and I won't be involved in it, but for now, it's who I'd put in a cage. And I have really enjoyed this year. I've had some special moments. I mean, they've really touched my heart. Not as hard as they've touched their insides, but God, it touched my heart. We had a moment when we had Jordan Housel, poor guy, at the Belgian Open, three match points, and I put him in a humongous cage, and it just sealed him in tighter as every point went on. And he lost the fifth set, five, and four sets, four games left. You know, he was gone, completely gone, after being three, two, and three match points. That I really enjoyed, but he didn't smash a racket, so it didn't really feel like it hurt enough. We move on a little later in the year. We have Jack Fryer. He was nominated as well. <laughs> Fryer was Adam. I mean, you got to admit that was a beautiful thing to watch, wasn't it? Six set points he had in the first set. Something special. You finished with what's in your mouth. Who's <laughs> <laughs> back, back there with you? <laughs> Can't wait to leave my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you having? All the meats. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, which pizza? <laughs> little meat pizza back there. <laughs> I'm meant to be talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just keep quiet over there. It's better that way. <laughs> but anyway, we decided finally on who we thought should give the award. Um, none other than Mr. Alex Oldfield, and we'll explain why the award goes to who it comes to. Mr. Alex Oldfield. Perhaps the most uh, prestigious award of the night. I want to give a warm round of applause for James. <laughs> Congratulations. Talk us through the cage and, and, and how it happened to you. You were there. <laughs> you went through it. Talk us through uh, that moment. It was in October. Was it October? Yeah, what October we did our world record attempt um, for the most consecutive opponents in touch tennis singles. Uh, we had Rashid's massive court out. So uh, Sean did the lines. And then I was playing Rashid. I was one one set. You've won a set and you'll break up. Two level up. And uh, he said the lines were wrong on the service court. And I thought, Oh shit, they are a bit wrong, aren't they? The lines were in line with the uh, the mat, and from then I just choked. It was horrible. Gang. And it, was, it yeah. took about two more sets for me to realise you were joking. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All I could keep thinking was that we've messed up the record, I've wasted seven matches already, there's no point in carrying on. Yeah. Um, who was it? Was Where's Gollidge? Uh, it was a secret, wasn't it? Yeah, secret. Yeah, secret. Everyone was. Sort of serious part of Seabrook. Yeah, Seabrook was just smirking away with me and I'd occasionally just look at the camera and did that. We're waiting for that footage to come through and when it does, we're going to really enjoy putting that up on the website for you all to see because it really is a man completely self-destructing from two love and a set-up. <laughs> he loses five games on the trot before he realises I'm winding him up. And by then he just starts trying to blast cannonball serves at 300 miles per hour and loses the match, 4-2 in the third. Yeah. That was a beautiful thing to do to you, mate. Congratulations on the Cage Award, Mr. James Lightman. Before I mention, I do want to say that James really was close with the Most Valuable Person Award. Um, I really appreciate everything he's done for the game as well this year, introducing it into uh, his university school. It's been a massive help, James. So we're now going to move on to the semi-finals and then the finals of the Masters Cup, and I hope you'll stay with us. We'll be back.